Okay, well, if that's true, then the the lobster is your best idea for this so far because no one you're not going to get a bunch of people eating lizards. I bet. It, I, I just bet they break it. I just keep breaking its claws off and eating them, and he just keeps growing them yeah. back. Yeah. If they if they, if they really are regrowing those big giant lobster claws, yeah, that's a good idea. Takes five imagine, years though. I am. Oh well, fuck. That's that's not ideal. Yeah, I'm gonna need a that's lot a of time. lobsters. How often and do you have lobster though? Every not night. that often. Every Crab's night. better. <laughs> Yeah, if like snow a... crab regrow, if you could like break off like four legs off the snow like crab. Lobster. I really regrow. wanted this to be a cow. Can we make a cow lobster hybrid so that it grows its hoofs back? And it can be whatever I just you want. Have it to never be, ending man. sirloin. It worked in Jurassic Park. Did it? And they combined like some frogs and some dinosaurs and made animals. Dino the... deer. <laughs> and and it allowed the dinosaurs to change sex like frogs do. And I think the lesson of that movie was that it didn't work specifically. <laughs> <laughs> It worked really or well. I think that it worked they too well. They're just <laughs> unintended consequences. Well, it worked in more Jurassic dinosaurs Park. than they thought. Yeah. yeah I, I, mean, I think we have different that, definitions that, of success. That, You're wanting to say it worked in Frankenstein. You know. <laughs> You're right. I, I think I think Jurassic Park was about man's arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> And about Sounds how good, one though. guy with a goofy cane thought he yeah, could one guy's arrogance is another guy's Jurassic. can do attitude. I think he made dinosaurs. I, I say the whole thing is a win. He didn't the do shit. Jurassic... Newman made the dinosaurs. <laughs> Jurassic... the, the, the guy <laughs> with, the, with the amber <laughs> stick was basically Steve no. Jobs. Newman was in no, there. No, the his doctor Barbara from Oz hand. made the dinosaurs. Yeah, woo. Yep. Henry that Japanese Wu. Japanese fellow. Yep. yep. Mr. Oh, Wu. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Newman helped. You know, <laughs> Newman was the security guy. Who, he was the computer guy, IT guy. Yeah, yeah, he, like, yeah. He paid well enough, so he sold him out. He was, he was, he was, he he shuts the security down, and he and he sneaks out the embryos to sell them the like the private market to that guy met. You know, for we got Dotson's Dobson. here. We got Dotson. <laughs> See, nobody cares. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that was that, that's idea. what Jurassic Two should have been directly about—the hunt for that shaving cream thing and yeah. private company. Like you, you should have had three or four private companies all sending their teams in, and so Doctor Grant is getting approached by all the different teams, and he's saying no, no, no. And the last team is so scary, so they have such little regard for human life that he's like, "I can't let this happen. I gotta go, not for the dinosaurs, but to help our, you know, fucking Jeff Goldblum, who's tagged along, none but." Doesn't know that these guys are evil. That's they made some horse Jeff, shit. Jeff Goldblum so bad. did not bring anything to the table. You didn't think so? I love him. In no, it. no, not from the actor point. Like why he was there, I didn't understand. Like he oh, was there. That's a good try, point. Actually, he was there to try and fuck that blonde girl before they saw the brontosaurus. Yeah, was like, he was trying to cut Doctor Grant so where, fucking where hard. The water drips off your hand. Wait, were Dr. they husband and wife? Am I? Cr- they're, no. yeah, they're they're like a yeah. couple though. Like like Dr. Grant he's, is this close to dropping the K-word. Like he's is mad. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Dr. Grant. Yeah. Sam <laughs> Sam Neil or whatever his name is. Yeah. He's called him a child. He's, <laughs> he's like running his hand up and down her foot the inside of her wrist and shit, talking about water droplets and, and the fucking uh whatever the, the butterfly theory and all that shit, uh chaos theory. Talking about sexuality. And, microscopic, yeah. microscopic. Yeah, yeah that guy microscopic. was about to get strangled <laughs> right there in that Ford Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> I, Fuck that. I I would one hundred percent I mean, obviously I wouldn't go to Jurassic Park after it the news spread that it was a total cat. I'm happy failure Taylor were being all eaten. Jurassic Park. It would be totally yeah. on on brand for Taylor to be yeah. like, I've never seen this. That's the dinosaur. I, I, I movie, have right? seen Jurassic Park, but I like would you guys go? I would go in a heartbeat. Jurassic Park. I would, I would 100% heartbeat. go. I like the zoo. Yeah. I know it's kind of cruel sometimes. And so a lot of the time it's not cruel. Like lizards. But these are dinosaurs. Fuck, it's, it's like the snake house, yeah. but everything. You don't give a shit. I would kill one. I like I, I, if, if they would like. 100%. I, I, they're like they're, they're right reptiles. The face. They're retarded. You know, I don't care. Who cares? I, get, I would love to hunt raptors. That's what it should have been about. It's, there's, I did like that they turned raptors into like attack dogs later on and had uh What's oh, his no. name? Chris like, Pratt like, doing yeah, Chris Pratt doing the whole crocodile Dundee shit. <laughs> Velociraptors are, are not a cool dinosaur. Like they set the anchor How big are they? so high. Well, in the original in the movie, one, they looked huge and cool. And then in the new one, they're like, actually, the Velociraptors were totally bitch made little uh chicken sized things. And so they went from like cleverly like leaping around entire kitchens in that hotel and like spying to just being kind of dumb little. Uh, little minions 
I would go to see dinosaurs because that's such a cool fucking thing. You know, I think everybody grew up and like yeah. loved dinosaurs one way or another at some point. Uh, they should have made the would, flying dinosaurs. That was a huge mistake. Huge error. Huge error. Yeah. Like, like let's let's keep, keep them, them on terrestrial the ground where we can 100%. see them. No yeah. water ones because they're going to go in and like kill the sharks and like fuck up yeah, seals and ruin either. the don't environment. The water. No flying ones, obviously. Just keep terrestrial. Terrestrial dinosaurs wouldn't be enough. The silliest one, and they made it up for the movie. Even I think I don't think it's in the book. Uh, the one that spits the acid in Newman's face, <laughs> that tarry acid, and he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> that didn't. You're exist. right. I guess the that there's no way that was real. Yeah, yeah, and if it was, they wouldn't have any way of knowing that the it did sulfurosaur that, you know? or some some nonsense. Yeah, yeah there, there's so no way that. Oh, that's would work. a good point. I didn't consider that, Kyle. You a can't tell stuff. that sort of thing by bones very well. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah, you would. <laughs> so anyway, as far as um, I, know. I would definitely go to any kind of a Jurassic Park that there was. It would be worth like people pay. It was ten million, I think, back in the day to go up on Mir, uh, or, or to go up for that Russian, you know, uh, Soyuz thing. It'd be way, worth way more than 10 million to see dinosaurs. And that's the point. You know, Dr. Grant talk, or whoever it is, the fucking old man with the cane. He's, he, Hammond. he's like, I'm not making a part for the Hammond. ultra yeah. rich. And the other guy is Hammond. And the other guy's like, oh, yeah, we'll have like a coupon day or something. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll have a, but, but, but he's like, no, it'll be mostly for the ultra rich because you yeah. would. You'd pay. He even says it there. I'm Isn't he walking he's like, down like pay a 10? Fifty, a hundred thousand a day, whatever you charge. And it's like, yeah, Isn't he, he's like walking work. down a marble staircase while he says that. Perhaps like, I don't recall with his exactly. with his. But you would they're in the direct. projector room seeing the ads for it, like Disneyland. Mm. Man, you you really remember Jurassic Park? You yeah, know. I got a problem. Uh, we went to uh, we went to a dinner show where it was like an improv comedy uh, song ad- adaptation of Jurassic Park. <laughs> You eat, oh. and then they go. They come out and do the whole movie, like singing. And their version of Jeff Goldblum brings the old this this uh, this old man up on stage from the audience to do that. Uh, it's because of imperfections in your microscopic microscopic. It was really funny. Um, <laughs> and then he then he and then her. COVID happened. They stopped doing it. So. Oh. all that art. Lost. They got a but they do uh, they do a point break thing too. Same. I think it's the same group where they take a random guy in order to simulate Keanu Reeves' acting ability. They take a random guy out of the audience and they show him his lines on cards while all the people are like acting the movie out super seriously. And he's like, yeah. Well, that's what I want. Like he just is supposed to read them. <laughs> Poor Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs>